Join us at Health Talk Desk. Make sure to subscribe, like and share our videos to keep spreading vital thyroid health insights. Hi guys, Eric Omondi here, President of Comedy. And I'm here with the gentleman and the lady. And of course, this is the Health Talk Desk where we talk about the issues that Zina's idea of Kenya, Sindio. And of course, last time we talked about Zaidi, we had a lot of in fact, one of our guests, when you made a limo, Eric Omondi, and I said, Eric Omondi, when you comedy. No, it has a lot to do with what I'm doing and what my boss also is doing and what our guests are doing or have gone through. Uh, when I started helping Kenyans, uh, mostly with uh, a lot of medical stuff, the cancer could discover that many Kenyans, when I tell to Apo Tao, to Nation Center, to Mutu Anana, to Buru, but the issues that people are going through that they don't even know that they're being stigmatized for, yeah? So there's a kid I was helping, which was in India. Mm. Uh, he's still in India. So when my boss, Alan, saw me post, I said, wait, what is that? <laughs> and that's how the, how the conversation began, and that's why I'm seated here today. To realize we can help other people by by discussing uh, these issues, to say they were to work on uh, easy easy conditions, what what our joy. And so today, to go up on a, uh, a very beautiful family, to go up Rihanna, for real, and I told Rihanna, and to go up Yad. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 She was from a uh, uh, former sister school, Kisumu Girls. <laughs> I was in Kisumu boys. So Nili Soma, she'll confirm. Not really so I went to school, Sindio. Finally Nikona testimonial. And of course my boss and our host uh tonight, I'm this morning from wherever you're watching. Come on, now watch America, Pengine in Usiku. Our host is my boss, Alan, who will take us through. Mini go to Apa to Kuchocha. Kuchocha and also could share a few of the things that ni may experience Nini Nik Nik Niki Kimitwatu. So ladies and gentlemen, we are here to talk about hyper and hypo. Last time in the Kwa hyper. hyper. Today we are talking about hypo. Both. Hypo. hypo, hypo sorry. and hypo. Yes. yes. Mm. The viewers, before we proceed, remember to subscribe, like, hit the notification bar, bell. Mm -hmm. To our guests, Yad mm -hmm. and Rehana, Mumakaribisho Sana Kwa, the health talk desk. Here we talk about your thyroid health mm -hmm. and we educate people about their thyroid health. Mm -hmm. um, you've been struggling with hyperthyroidism. Yeah. So I'm sure our listeners would want to hear your story, what you've won, gone through. How did you come to know that you have you are you are you have hyper? So give us your story. Mm -hmm. yes. uh, so basically, my story started uh, 2022 last mm -hmm. year, mm -hmm. February, is when I started feeling very odd in my body. Mm -hmm. I was feeling generally weak. Mm -hmm. Okay, before that, I'm generally a person who's very active. Mm -hmm. I play ball, I do this. I do many things at once. I'm all over the place. Mm -hmm. So then, yani, ni kama yani, when people say, uh, mm -hmm. you start slowing down, your activity yes. goes down. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's how I was feeling. And then it started come with weird signs. Uh -huh. My head would pain so much. Uh -huh. I didn't want to scare to any. We got a pulse, any pulse in our ear too. Yeah, so I used to get headaches. I used to become very tired, and then I developed a uh, a symptom of uh, of shaking. I used to get mm -hmm. tremors. 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 Yeah, tremors. Mm -hmm. So even when I was in school and when I'm writing, I used to shake. Mm -hmm. When I'm writing, any, I can't be stable, mm -hmm. and it came with a lot of anxiety. You're always panicking, what, what, you know, you're all over the place. You can't stay here, one thing, do one thing, do one thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so then is when I started feeling it, but then, ah, you know, sometimes then I smile, ah, maybe I'm having a bad week or something, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I push on, I push on. Yeah, so it didn't click when I was You thought maybe you are yeah. tired or... Yeah. I thought, yeah, it's a life, it's a life, it's a life, it's a life, yeah? You can get tired for one week, mm -hmm. next week, or so, ah, anyway. We'll see where it goes. Mm -hmm. So then as time went by, eh, hey, it's still with me. Mm -hmm. It's still with me. And in a para machida, machida, machida. And then when now I knew there's a problem uh -huh. when when my eyesight started having issues. I couldn't see. I would see very vague. Uh -huh. hey, so then Kasima, eh, hey, now here there's a there's problem. A problem. Mm -hmm. 
uh, so then now uh, I start not telling mom uh-huh. my my eyes yeah, have problems. Uh-huh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Now I started narrating to Annie what has been happening over the weekly period because I was in boarding school. Mm-hmm. So as I was telling her, then I told her now my eyes have a problem. Mm-hmm. Let's go see the optician. So when you go when you go to the optician, optician and Ipima, like in his saying, there's no major uh-huh. issue. Yeah. So I was wondering what could it be? Yeah. Because the doctor said there's no vision problems. Uh-huh. The distance is fine. Yes. Ah, so a in the quanini. Ah, so I said so. So then, as I push on, as I push on, it becomes worse, mm-hmm. and I lost sight on my right eye. So you you in that time you're in school. Yes, I'm in okay. school. That time I'm in which, school. Which form, form? I was in form two. Form two. Yeah, the time I was in form two. Mm-hmm. Ah, so now I'm, uh, even start to panic. Mm-hmm. I can't see with one eye. Yeah. Eh, mm-hmm. In a quadi. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So then now. I come home and then I tell mommy, eh, things are starting to become really serious. Mm-hmm. Let's try going to, to the hospital, we see what's the problem. Mm-hmm. So, married to the hospital, when I'm in Pima, they say, a viral infection. A viral infection. Yeah. Now it became an anthem. When I'm blood. sick, uh-huh. yeah, blood, blood viral, viral, anything. anything. Yeah. Bacterial yeah. infection. Yeah. 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 So, uh, so, when I go to the hospital, uh-huh. I have bacterial infection. Two weeks later, I fall ill again. Back you go back. I, even, I even go to school, I even go to school, I even go to school, I even go to infection. Ah. So I didn't have it. So that's what they're treating. Yeah. 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 They could see blood pressure was elevated yes. mm. normally, 150, but our semi, one of them, oh, maybe blood pressure is quite elevated yeah, because yeah. of Ukona infection. So he continuously, and I measure to my dawa. So one time, I can remember in the sanitarium six times, no, you may antibiotics six times. So I can remember, you can't be taking antibiotics yes. that, yes. that much. Mm-hmm. You know, maybe when you come back home, mm. we'll get it checked. Uh-huh. But you know, he would come back sometimes and he'd be almost fine. Mm. Then you, like you ignore it, uh, yeah. uh, maybe boarding <coughs> pressure. <laughs> you know, <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and it went on for almost six months. But I think now when uh, there was a bit of an alarm because mm. I got called by the school. Mm. I told mommy, you need to come to school. Mm-hmm. Uh, we need to discuss an issue. Mm. I'm like, okay, what issue? This boy is sleeping in class every day. Mm. And this was this was after I mean, couldn't use a, It was an infection. Yeah. More than six times. More than six times. So Nikaoliza but sleeping in class. Why are you calling the parent? Like no. <laughs> so you handle it. Handle it. Yeah. So use a kiboko. You yeah. know, do some, I mean what, what am I coming to do <laughs> to to about a, a boy sleeping? <laughs> you know, you're the one with him. They're like, no, 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 no Mom, I think it's serious because this boy sleeps. First lesson, he's sleeping. He'll wake up, Kidogo, we get him to stand up, you know. But we do, it just seems like and then, there's and a then problem. And then initially, he had not. He was not. Was it? Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. So, yes. so, 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 so uh, after, after now realizing now you can't be at one place for mm-hmm. a long time, you know, that anxiety. Mm-hmm. So how was your relationship with your friends in school at that time? Okay, friends wasn't the issue. Mm-hmm. The issue was with teachers. Okay. Because once they started developing these uh, signs yeah. of sleeping during yeah. class, tremors, yeah. Shake. shaking. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah. 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 And, and, and the eyes. And, yeah. And the eyes too. Okay. Yeah. Because he so, was know, he, he was not developing the tear. You know, yeah. we have the liquid in the eyes, yes, so yes, his yeah. were dried out. Dry. So, so his eyes were constantly. Yeah, so from a teacher's yeah. perspective, yeah. I love that I know that the teacher knows this boy initially. Mm. Hey, so hey, the brain goes to, eh? Hey, okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you see. Yeah. So now, with the friends, there wasn't much issue. Uh-huh. But, but with the teachers, then now the suspicion starts to uh-huh. arise. Uh-huh. What, why are you like this, uh-huh. like this? So there are small quarrels here and there. Uh-huh. So one time I remember... <laughs> Funny story. Uh, now uh, the teacher now asks me, uh-huh. "Why are you using drugs?" 
it has a PMI. Uh, my, uh, I'm also angry at that point because it's persistent. Because yeah. mm-hmm. you what's wrong? You, even yourself yeah. don't know what's happening with yourself. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. And me myself, any yeah. nadjua, you can't use these things. Yes. Mm-hmm. So, so now then the teacher now tells me that why using drugs. Uh-huh. Me, I'm telling him, me, I don't use those things. Uh-huh. Now he is persistent. Mm-hmm. Then now to say my friend, by the way, me me uh-huh. I don't have those intentions. Mm-hmm. It's too mm-hmm. so, so now uh, even the nini, lesson, uh-huh. it took a pause. No, so he's just asking this in class. Yeah, it's in class. Because now not in the office. office. Not in the office. It's in class. Okay. So now it's a back and forth, back yes. and forth until now. Mm-hmm. He he asks me I need to come out of class, uh-huh. and I come out freely because now that time also. I have, uh, I'm, I'm stressed. Uh-huh. Why you, any? Una nekela kitu ambaye zjafanya. You see, uh-huh. yeah. So sometimes it can really be stressful, especially for some people who don't know how to uh, calm themselves down. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Because I think, I think, I'm one of those people who I can. Uh, I know how to any to suppress the yes, stress and yes. anxiety levels. Yes, yeah, yes. but for some people who don't know how to. You can get physical. Uh, yeah, <laughs> you can get physical. Yeah. Yeah. Very I think, easy. I think he's being kind. In mm, fact, Ali, in, in, in the school that he was at, there was a cell. Mm. So that altercation he had with the teacher was so bad because mm. at the time he had extreme anxiety. Mm. So he really told the teacher off. In fact, it, he called him bro. <laughs> you know? so, so when he was told staff room, staff room principal, principal, he was put in the cell. Then I was called, I was told, your son is calling the teacher bro. bro. You know, Mom, you need to come to school. You know, uh, and I'm thinking, what has happened to this boy? At that time, we don't know. Or you as a parent. Yes. And I'm thinking, you know, this is a, a bit extreme. Mm-hmm. Um, and then I said to the teacher, please, I'm, I'm unable to come. I was not in the country, but I will come to school and yeah. follow this up. Yeah. But I started to have something in my mind, mm-hmm. knowing the child. Mm-hmm. Um, I kept telling myself, it can't be him. Mm-hmm. I mean, not that he's yeah. the best, yeah. but, you know, I know the temperament. Yes. I know, yes. you know, he's, he's generally very calm and he's, you know, he likes people. Yes. So I kept wondering. And I, I keep telling his dad, there's a problem with these boys. Like, oh, watch him talk to us home, please. Don't, re, don't interfere. Don't interfere. Mm. And I'm like, okay. Um, yeah, until I think the, 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 the first instance of alarm is we were called and told Imad, Iyad has collapsed in uh-huh. school. So you didn't go at that time when you were No, told no, the no, I didn't. I wasn't there. When he was put in cell, it was a, 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 one so day. So and the father said, do see the white, I'm told was No, on, no, you know? yeah, you know, he told me, you know, let him adjust, you know, yes. you know, he's in form two, yes. this is that, yeah. he's, he's uh, you know, he's, maybe tough he, yes, head, yes. you know, let him deal. How, why did he even tell the teacher that? So, yeah. leave mm, him. Okay. Yeah, leave him. Through, let yes. him go through it. <laughs> Yeah, uh, until yes, like I say, we were mm-hmm. called and told Iyad has collapsed. Okay. I'm thinking collapsed. Yeah, he fainted in the field. Uh-huh. So we we are going to Nakuru. I said, okay. So uh, do we need to come? Mm-hmm. He said, no, no. In fact, he's awake. Speak to him. So he, I speak to him and tells me, oh, my mom, fine. I, I think it's the game. I was too tired. It was a match. So, so just ask pause. All this time you are you experiencing these mm-hmm. your symptoms and going through mm-hmm. all this. You're still doing games. Yeah. I love ball. I love ball. So even though um you, so you have pain, to force yourself and Yeah, you force yourself because then you have to push yourself. Yes. Yeah. Because for me it was like a passion. Ball. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So I am thinking that's a bit extreme, mm. you know, you, you just don't collapse. So we go to Nakuru, no, I don't go, sorry, the first time. He, I speak, speak to him, to him yes, he tells me, no, I'm fine, I think um, I did a, a full 90 minutes. Mm-hmm. So it could be, mm. you know, tired, and I've been tired yeah, lately. Yes. Then he told me, you know, Mama, last week I had an infection. Mm. So, so, I've been on drugs. Yeah, medication, medication, you know, I downplay it. Anyway, long story short, Yad comes home uh-huh. for midterm. And when he comes home, I am shell shocked, looking at him. Mm-hmm. And for a moment, I I didn't know what it was, but I knew there's definitely there's something, something wrong, mm-hmm. you know. So I I start to question him as a, a mother to a teenage yeah. son. Yes. 
have you tried anything in school? Because he had extreme, he's generally a stammerer, uh -huh. which I know. Yes. But now there's extreme tremors. Yes. Mm -hmm. The eyes are completely dry, right. red, and one is Popping popped out. out. Yes. So I, I start to inquire, have you experimented? Uh -huh. You know, drugs comes to yes, mind. Yes, yes. Um, so even as a parent, you also thought of drugs? Yes, it, mm. it did occur. That was the first thing. Mm -hmm. And he says, no. I said, well, okay, might you have tr taken something without mm. knowing? Mm. You know, in school, maybe mm. someone gave you something. Um, no. Uh, I'm not convinced. So I tell my bro, uh, mm. I need us to do something. Yes. I need to get this boy checked. checked. Uh -huh. Oh, wait, after he tells you this, where did that My, my deep like, down, uh, yeah, <laughs> you know, I mean, uh, the first answer to do you do drugs is no. no. Yes, yeah. definitely. Um, and, and, and I don't want to be an ignorant <laughs> yes. parent because yes. it happens. Hmm. It's a, he's a teenage yes, boy in yes. high school. It, it could, it could, it could, uh, it, yes. it could have been. Yes. Mm. Uh -huh. um, and especially because I'm looking at him and looking at the symptoms. He's not eating. Uh -huh. He's sweating over sweating, he has to change his bed sheet mm. uh, twice in the in the night. Mm. Um, extreme tremors. He's always tired, mm -hmm. always not able to move. So of course my mind goes, and uh, we go for a test. We don't tell him, but uh, we go we, we go run a test, and the tests come negative. Mm. So so how did you how did you convince him to go to the hospital? Because he's, he's a grown up. Because so you, he you, was tired. Uh, I think I remember one time in the house, mm -hmm. after I, I'd asked him once, twice, three times, I remember that day he lost, it's the first time he, he lost, lost it, it with me. And he said, yeah, I would. take me to do this drug test. In fact, I'm not sleeping today in this Until house. Until do it. Let's get this out. In fact, he said, how many times must I tell you? I don't do drugs. I feel him. Yeah. The, you see now, you, know, yeah, yeah, yeah. you see him, he, 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 at this point, both the mother, the teacher, and him doesn't know what's going on. But for him, he's only going through it. Yes. Yes. You get? Yes. He's collapsing, he's experiencing this stuff. I love some mother, and I'm going to go. 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 So, so when they, when they the hospital. Uh, so, to Kaenda, it came out negative. When, when it came out negative, now I knew there was something wrong with this boy. Mm -hmm. Without uh -huh. a any question. I knew there was some medical, underlying medical issue. Mm. Luckily, or well, not, not luckily as such, but uh, we started uh, noticing that his blood pressure is 140, uh -huh. 150, 160, 170. Very abnormal for a, a boy of his age. Uh -huh. mm. At that time, we still don't know about thyroid. We're wondering why the, the, the high blood pressure so he went to a national school. So I was thinking, pressure. You know, these oh, guys yes. are on pressure yes. for performance. Yes. The top school, mm -hmm. they want nothing but an A. Yes. So maybe this kid is, is, is the pressure. Is so pressure I, is I still, much. yes, I still now went back to school and I told the teacher, uh, okay, you know, pressure? yeah, not everyone is an A yeah. um, student. So like, yeah, but it's, it's not it. Anyway, he went back to school. But at this point, you've confirmed the results are neg negative. Negative. So mm. I know we are dealing with an issue. I just don't know what, what, is, what yeah, okay. it is. But is, you've confirmed it's not drugs. Not drugs. So it's a bit convincing, but it's even worse for me because then what then is what it? Then what is it, yeah. You know? So, so after that, you get part of it. Unfortunately, you get part of the drugs. Drug, you deal with it, yeah. exactly. <laughs> Sasa, it's left you mm. even wider. Sasa, what could it be? Mm. In fact, uh, many times I kept now looking at the eyes, I thought he's having a kidney failure mm -hmm. or the, the liver mm -hmm. because they were red and they were yeah. dry. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and just really crazy until the diagnosis came much later. Wow, guys, uh, you, are, you are hearing it from the horse's mouth and uh, it's quite intense, but it's important because what you had when you had, you had, you had, you had went through will help other young guys in school not to go through the same thing. And I hope teachers are watching, parents are watching. We're going to take a short break, and then when they come back, we get back to it. This is Health Talk. Join us at Health Talk Desk. Make sure to subscribe, like, and share our videos to keep spreading vital thyroid health insights. When you walk into MediHub Healthcare Limited, your wellness becomes our focus. 
We are a fully fledged outpatient facility offering quality medical services to your satisfaction. Our doctors are highly qualified to diagnose and treat you till you're back to your strong self again. Our state-of-the-art laboratory is fully equipped to deliver accurate test results and ensure that you get the correct diagnosis for your diseases. We also provide medical equipment for hire or sale including hospital beds, wheelchairs, oxygen concentrators and suction machines. But we are more than that. We are also experts in nutrition services offering nutrition consultation, both preventive and therapeutic advice. If you can't make it to our facilities, worry not. We offer specialized home-based care services at the comfort of your home. Choose from our multidisciplinary professionals ranging from doctors, nurses, physiotherapists, medical social workers, occupation therapists, and registered nutritionists. Visit us at AEA Plaza Valley Road before Silver Springs Roundabout, 2nd Floor Wing B. Our 24-7 call center agents are on standby in case you call. So, call us on 011-194-2268 or 736 Three seven zero seven eight four, or email us through info at medihubhealthcare.com. Medihub Healthcare Limited, your wellness, our focus. And we are back. We are here at the health talk desk, not tables. Yes, desk. And uh, to go to Rafi Kamali, we had to take a break because the uh, story of Mishika Sana is very informative, even for me personally. And now we, we've had the uh, yard, yeah. Uh, go through all this with the teachers, with the parents, and now Omeenda Aka Testiwa. Mr. Awata, I want you to tell us at what point Waka diagnosed, and then from there, Nini can happen, it can happen still. So, bro, yeah. My journey now starts uh, 4th of July mm. when now I was diagnosed, mm. and uh, you know, it's important for you to know whatever you're suffering from yes. so that. The process of healing can be faster yes. mm. and you even feel at ease that mm. you know what's happening mm. and there's a solution to it. Mm. Yeah, so now uh, I went to see an uh, endocrinologist and we walked the path together. Mm. Mm. And finally, after stressful times, times where you think there's no hope, mm -hmm. you're sick, mm. sick after sick after sick, you're taking medications but mm -hmm. still, you know. Uh, you know, medicine can only treat until uh, a physical point. Yes. Mm -hmm. But when it comes to psychological mm. and emotional yes, it's, uh, it's about you. issues, mm -hmm. yeah, it becomes a problem. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, fast forward, I've been seeing the doctor, and uh, all has been, there's been up and downs, mm -hmm. you know. Then I was ready for surgery. Now the problem was surgery. Mm. Now, <laughs> to, be where, to, yeah, to be convinced to go for surgery. to be convinced for surgery. How long did you take uh, the medicine for the hyper? I took the medicine from July until November. Uh -huh. So that is approximately seven, mm. Mm, five what? months. Five, yes. Four, yeah, yes. four, five months. Yes. Yeah. This is last year? Yeah, yeah. yeah. last year. Okay. Yeah, so then, he, he needs to just mention, but at that time, uh -huh. he had withdrawn from school. Yeah. So he was home. Because while managing his hyperthyroidism, the yeah. gross disease, mm -hmm. he formed diabetes high oh, and high, high blood, blood pressure. pressure. And he had, um, the heart was irregular, very irregular. Okay. So he was okay. being treated for the heart issues as well. Okay. So it was very difficult to be in school. To be in school so yes. it was a lot easier because when he was home now, we could manage, you know, we would check his, he had a scheduler mm -hmm. where every one, two hours is checking his blood pressure. So the drugs could be mm -hmm. given up. So, you know, that I think helped mm -hmm. to regularize it in a, in a short time. Of course, the doctors told us we must think of a long-term solution yeah. because we are damaging the liver. Mm -hmm. he, he would take uh, 12 tablets a day. Of, of drugs. Long term, long term is now surgery, isn't it? Yeah, so well, there were options. We okay. were given one, continue with the medication. Okay. Two, uh, radioactive. Three, surgery. So let me ask, at this time, mm -hmm. what was the reaction for, from the teachers when you told them that now you are, you are not taking drugs but you're suffering from. Your bro, <laughs> from your bro. Yeah. Ah, so <laughs> from, from, from your my bro. guy, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you see now, uh, okay. The good thing with them now was once I had, I told them what I'm suffering from, they understood. Okay. But then also one thing that I'd like uh, many Kenyans or even worldwide people, uh -huh. don't always jump at someone 
mm. you know yes yes that you make assumption direct yes. assumption and you stick to that assumption no you don't need to be provided with the 100% evidence mm. that ni even na even na even no they, they once say, i tell they, you that they say assumption is the mother of all mistakes yeah. mm. yes once i tell you that mm. they, there's a problem i don't know the problem mm-hmm. but i'm working towards a solution yes you yourself don't don't go then sit in a corner then say au jamaa natupima ah nio hiyo njia tu hiyo njia moja no 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 so did the did, did the teachers now come back to you and to apologize or sort of unfortunately not they didn't they didn't malimu hai utangoja za hizo bro kwa hapo kwanza si ana tusha kaka but 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 they knew that you are suffering from yes apparatus. once i told them now mm-hmm. now they started uh, understanding uh-huh. okay. yeah Okay. Well, um now after now you now decide you want to go for surgery. Mm-hmm. Um you, you I'm, I'm sure at that at that point you already started now uh, doing counseling and of course yeah. uh, checking in the internet mm-hmm. to understand what this disease is all yeah. about. How 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 was the whole feeling now that you know you are suffering from thyroid? The only solution here is the surgery. Uh mixed emotions. Uh-huh. Happy and scared especially mm. scared because eh mm. mia ni sahi yeah. <laughs> nikiambiwa at, at injection na ugopo alafu unaanza kusikia surgery yeah. uh, it's it's it. you, you you feel very scared mm-hmm. but i knew uh-huh. uh, this is something mm-hmm. that long term will finish with it once and for all mm-hmm. and it will be behind my past so mm-hmm. i knew that was the only way mm-hmm. and yeah fast forward it, it, it has really helped me. Mm. Uh, Lisa man, uh, how long can you take medicine? 18 months. Yeah. You, you can do you can do more than 18 months because when 18. you do more than 18 months now mm. you start now treating other issues with your kidney your liver. Okay. And that's why uh, at that point after mm. how long 12 after 5 yeah. 5 months five months of medication. Yeah, yeah. Mm. yeah his surgery. came a bit sooner mm. because uh, like I say he was already out of school. Mm-hmm. and we were worried or concerned if we wait it out mm-hmm. okay so first of all the endocrinologist said we really have to monitor this kid mm-hmm. because his uh, the, the the how they would get to know the thyroid uh-huh. so sometimes he'd hit very high uh, t3s and t3s mm-hmm. really high mm-hmm. so um, he even had to see an internal med doctor just to see if there's any other thing because mm-hmm. it almost at some point seemed abnormal for mm. someone of his age so while he could have still continued with medication we had mm. to take a uh, i mean a shorter, the, the time, shorter time just so that we allow him an opportunity to go back to school yes. mm. because at least now we knew what we were dealing with and i figured 18 months 18 months could be long mm. when, uh, when when yeah and and the doctor had already told us this particular patient cannot go back to school yes mm. uh, you and, know. Mm, unless unless mm. so Uh, we figured i mean he can't be home for two two yeah. years yeah so so i, I think i think uh, my boss here does most of the stories but there's those spe- specific ones that i have to come in and personally came in because of the age and the story you see if if my boss has these symptoms and i don't know about hyper that's why i'm mkubwa at the drugs na chukua shauri yake but this is this is specific to me because uh, there's a there's a guy or a lady somewhere in high school or when you say sana shukuyo ya yeah? especially if with him to some extent kidogo tu na elewa malimu na elewa madha yes yes ya ju sasa au ju so this then becomes very important for the teachers watching yes and the parent who's watching True. and even the student who's watching yeah uh, so that we are as he has said it himself to see to petie your space ya ku ku to say 100% ah it has to be this yeah mm-hmm. And of course this is helping uh, sir because I'm going to get symptoms and yes. and a tremor kuna Isaac is got dry na is got red hiyo ndio kwa kisumu boys hakia mungu ni bangi una get na vuta bangi eh so una get so 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 that's why we that's why we do this health talk desk so that at least we sensitize and also demystify and uh, we are very lucky because this family Mm-hmm. Uh, we're going to get it from everybody it's going to be a 360 uh, goes to kona daktari pia who will be joining us uh, shortly eh pia tupatie perspective yake tumesikia story ya mwalimu tumesikia story ya ya yad tumesikia story ya parent na pia tusikia medic atuambie 
what uh, what 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 to what to expect, what they've go, what she's gone through specifically, and what she can advise us. Yeah. So I think Mama Tatumbia, um, she's coming back by the way uh, to tell us her story. Yeah. But uh, she'll give us her closing remarks. Yeah. Well, uh, I I think. You've said it all, mm. Eric. I think there is really need for parents, teachers, you know, the adults within the children's lives, mm. not to ignore some of these salient um, symptoms mm. that you know you can otherwise, and you you can ignore a cough and a cold. Mm. But I think when something is persistent over three, four yes. months, mm. there really is need to to go. Maybe the doctor will will also talk about it. But I also realized is there is need to particularly talk about thyroid mm -hmm. graves disease in our in our yes. case mm -hmm. because even uh, there's also a lot of misdiagnosis mm -hmm. you know where you're either treated for depression mm -hmm. or you're treated for drugs or you know many other things but, but mm -hmm. the main thing so let's not ignore the signs a thyroid um, issue is fatal mm -hmm. and can be fatal mm -hmm. um, when when he had uh, when he he almost got into a thyroid storm Mm. Um, as a that? layman, mm. yes, maybe, doc but as a layman is when the system's shut. Yes. You know, okay. the kidney is failing, the liver is failing, and the heart closes it's in. It's called thyroid storm. So the mm -hmm. thyroid storm, he, the date he was, uh, when he collapsed at home, when he went to hospital for the diagnosis, his, he was already at it. The, the, the storm was knocking. Was out. knocking, okay. so he immediately went into HDU and, you know, mm. so we are, we are lucky. Mm. It's God. Mm -hmm. Sometimes others don't have that chance, so don't ignore the small issues. Mm -hmm. yes. Just get it checked, get it sorted, seek a second opinion, third if you have to, mm -hmm. and start. And um, once you do, you get your life back. Mm -hmm. You're still with you. Yes, so yes, you, you will give us your last remarks about mm -hmm. that. Yeah. Join us at Health Talk Desk. Make sure to subscribe, like, and share our videos to keep spreading vital thyroid health insights. When you walk into Medihub Healthcare Limited, your wellness becomes our focus. We are a fully-fledged outpatient facility offering quality medical services to your satisfaction. Our doctors are highly qualified to diagnose and treat you till you're back to your strong self again. Our state-of-the-art laboratory is fully equipped to deliver accurate test results and ensure that you get the correct diagnosis for your diseases. We also provide medical equipment for hire or sale, including hospital beds, wheelchairs, oxygen concentrators, and suction machines. But we are more than that. We are also experts in nutrition services, offering nutrition consultation, both preventive and therapeutic advice. If you can't make it to our facilities, worry not. We offer specialized home-based care services at the comfort of your home. Choose from our multidisciplinary professionals ranging from doctors, nurses, physiotherapists, medical social workers, occupation therapists, and registered nutritionists. Visit us at AEA Plaza Valley Road before Silver Springs Roundabout, 2nd Floor Wing B. Our 24-7 call center agents are on standby in case you call. So, call us on 011-194-22. 68 or 736 370 784 or email us through info at medihubhealthcare.com medihub healthcare limited your wellness our focus and we are back and uh, all i can say is kunanuru <laughs> giza we have some light at the end of the tunnel you've, you've shared the story very helpful uh i'm sure that's idea walimu was at our in this case, yeah. So we have a doctor, a medic, we have a perspective yake. This is an, a whole, we've covered every angle possible, yeah. So I'm going to throw this back to, to uh, what's yeah, called the doctor. Yes. At this point, I'm going to doctor, our host, Alan, uh, to introduce our doctor. Okay, thank you very much, Eric, uh, mm. for hosting with me yes. the show. And uh, we are welcoming our guests, very important guests. And the story has twisted, mm. as Erika said, Kunanuru Gizani. And uh, today we are going to shed more light on thyroid diseases. And we are lucky to have Dr. Nuru. Dr. Nuru. Dr. Nuru with us today, who happens to be hunt to um, Yad, who is a patient or, or a champion. We call them a champion because he has gone through. Um, the healing process. 
and Nuru is going to tell us what thyroid is about, uh, give us, uh, answer a few questions that you as a listener you are asking. Uh, if you have any question that you would want Nuru to answer, uh, please write down up a comment na tutamsomea maybe later na atakujibu. Kwa hivyo Nuru umekuwa na yard all through uh, his journey towards healing of thyroid disease. Uh, what are the most common challenges that a patient a thyroid patient go through? Okay, thank you so much for mm. welcoming me to your show. Mm. And as you've heard, I'm Dr. Nuru Mbarak. I'm mm. a radiologist practicing in Kericho. Mm. So I'm here just visiting. Mm. And uh, Iyad is a nephew. Mm. And uh, I remember initially when uh, Rihanna came to us with his illness. Mm -hmm. First, it was Iyad is not coping with school. Mm. The school is probably harassing him or uh, there is something going on that the gut feeling is not allowing her to be at peace. Yeah. And uh, he had been taken to a hospital near their school, and his blood pressure was high, and you know, things were all over the place, and they were not adding up for his age. Mm. So that throws people off balance, and so sometimes you don't know where to start. Mm. And most of the symptoms that patients present with are very nonspecific. Mm. Sometimes you can't express yourself as the patient, because one, you're either feeling too tired, sleepy, you're not able to do your daily activities, mm or you don't have appetite. And you know, sometimes somebody will think you are just lazy. or tired I from am, school yes, or yes. from work or something. Oh, and God. they will tell you rest, mm -hmm. you know, get some rest. You, any blood test, no, you'll be okay. If you feel anything, come yes, back. Yes. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of that. And there is that aspect of not going the whole mile mm -hmm. in terms of trying to identify where this very vague symptoms yes. are coming from and that's where he was apart from the blood pressure all these other things were just neither here nor there uh -huh. and so that's the main challenge but with thyroid disease and with how common they are and the ages they affect uh -huh. it's important for clinicians to have a high index of suspicion so we call it a high index of suspicion uh -huh. so uh -huh. somebody comes to you and they tell you they have palpitations uh -huh. i can hear my heart beat uh -huh. you know you start saying, and most of the thyroid diseases affect women, more than five times yes. women more than men. Mm -hmm. And so hysteria or being irritable mm -hmm. and, you know, una chapa chapa a toto mm -hmm. and somebody thinks you are just being a woman, a woman. you know. Mm -hmm. And so there's that a lot, mm -hmm. especially in women above 50. And it will get missed and you'll be sent for ECGs yes. and things. And the thing is here, and especially if it's not swollen, mm -hmm. then it makes it even more difficult. So when it's bigger, then there is something physical you will touch and feel this mm. is out of place and you will send for blood tests and imaging and then you will cut it faster. But when it is not enlarged, mm -hmm. as most cases in the younger people will be, or if there is no goita, no nodules, no nothing, mm -hmm. then it becomes very difficult to pick. Uh -huh. yeah. Okay, there's something very interesting that you've mentioned uh, about palpitations. Mm -hmm. And I've had people go to the hospitals, um, someone collapses, and I'm a heart attack or cardiac arrest. Mm -hmm. And I want, I, I tend to believe some of, a good number of, a good percentage mm -hmm. of these cardiac arrests has, are a, as a result of uh, thyroid, which has not been identified early now. How true is that? So the uh, unfortunately with heart attacks mm -hmm. is retrospective. Yes. That's the problem. Uh -huh. You will think, oh, what happened? They collapsed. Uh -huh. They were taken to hospital. There was no heartbeat. Uh -huh. And because of our reaction time, uh -huh. we mm -hmm. will say during the funeral that it was a heart attack. Yeah? Mm -hmm. yeah. But if we are in a setup where we are able to reverse yes. yeah, and find out what caused the heart attack, yes. because sometimes you can have palpitations, your heart is going fast, mm -hmm. you can hear it, mm -hmm. but it's regular, mm -hmm. or you can have arrhythmias. Mm -hmm. So, And those ones, when you have an arrhythmia, is that your heartbeat is irregular mm -hmm. or it is not in place as a normal person. Mm -hmm. And so that one will affect the way it is functioning mm -hmm. and that can give you a heart attack. Mm -hmm. Apart from when you have a heart attack because of blockage mm -hmm. of the coronary arteries. Mm -hmm. So that's a different thing. Mm -hmm. And so that one you have to investigate. Mm -hmm. So if you are you are brought to hospital and the heart has a problem, we have to find out what caused your arrhythmia. Wow. Apart from, you know, bringing you back to life. Mm -hmm. So there is that part. Mm -hmm. It is possible and it's possible that a lot of it is missed. Mm -hmm. And when we come to most of these diseases like uh, thyroid or diabetes, mm -hmm. the hypo is what brings you problems mm -hmm. uh, in terms of picking it. Mm -hmm. And so when you are hypo and you are just 
feeling not yourself, mm -hmm. it can cause you problems that will not be tied back to the thyroid gland right. very easily. Uh, yeah. Wow. That's very interesting. Um, ladies and gentlemen, you heard that uh, this disease is more common in women than men. But that, that, that doesn't mean that uh, as a man, you can't get thyroid disease. So I'm here uh, as a thyroid champion. We have here and here, we are men. Mm -hmm. So if you're out there watching us, or your wife is behaving funny, your husband is behaving funny, you do not know exactly what is happening with them, please go to the hospital. Back to the doctor. What are the most common symptoms to look at or suspect that this person is suffering from a thyroid disease? Okay, so when we look at the spectrum of thyroid diseases mm -hmm. first, mm -hmm. apart from the symptoms, because the symptoms will depend on the hormone levels, mm -hmm. but the disease itself could be anything. Yeah, so even a newborn can have hypothyroidism mm -hmm. because they have been born with a non-functioning thyroid, thyroid gland. Uh -huh. And then as you get older, then you get into these other different uh -huh. diseases. Uh -huh. So you can have inflammation of the thyroid gland, which uh -huh. is thyroiditis. Uh -huh. You can have autoimmune diseases like uh, Hashimoto's thyroiditis and Graves uh -huh. are classified under autoimmune diseases. Uh -huh. Then you can have thyroid nodules. So you can have a single nodule. A nodule is like a small lesion. Uh -huh inside a normal thyroid gland. Mm -hmm. It can be one, it can be many, mm -hmm. but that one nodule can be functional. Mm -hmm. So when it's functional, it is producing hormones and releasing them into the system, and then it can give you the symptoms. And then you can get now into thyroid cancer, cancer yes, uh -huh. and other things, thyroid infection. You can mm -hmm. even get pus. Mm -hmm. You can get infection in it, a form of USA inside your thyroid, thyroid gland. Yes. So you can get an abscess. So the diseases are very many, mm -hmm. and now the symptoms will depend on the hormones. Mm -hmm. So if you have um, a disease that's affecting the production of the thyroid hormones, mm -hmm. and you know the thyroid hormones like work across the body mm -hmm. from your mental state mm -hmm. to your cardiac function to mm -hmm. metabolism to everything almost if that hormone is not there you'll just be a zombie yeah, yes. yes so it has a lot of functions in the body uh -huh. and so when it is not there then you're going to have all these things of fatigue tiredness loss of appetite uh -huh. you gain weight for no reason mm -hmm. your hair can start falling out um yeah you have no psych mm -hmm. and then when they're hyper you are on the other spectrum. The yes. yes. So you are, you are overly energetic, but you're also very irritable. Yes. You're not getting enough sleep because your body is overworking even when your you want to rest. Your body is overdrive. It's overdrive. on overdrive, yes. yes. So that the hormones are being produced at an excess mm -hmm. uh, amount for the body to do to, mm -hmm. to work with. Mm -hmm. Then the palpitations, you can feel. Da, 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 da. You're trying to be quiet, but you're, you're hearing your heart beating your ears. Yes. yes. So that's for hyper. Wow. Hey. And then you can have nothing. You can have thyroid disease, but the hormone levels are normal. And most mm -hmm. of these people, yes, mm -hmm. most of the people with an enlarged thyroid gland, mm -hmm. you, so when your hormones are, lev are normal, you're said to be euthyroid. I'm mm -hmm. sure you have, you've heard yes, these terms. Yes, so yes. euthyroid means you have a problem with your thyroid gland, yes, yes. but its function is still maintained. Yes. So sometimes it can have nodules, it can be enlarged, uh -huh. it can have an abscess, uh -huh. but the hormones are not affected. Mm -hmm. So you will not have symptoms. Mm -hmm. But if it is enlarged and you have physical symptoms, so it can cause pressure effects. You have mm -hmm. seen people on a vast scarf, mm -hmm. but see, see, see a swag near mm -hmm. neck mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. it is too you big. Sometimes it's big on one side. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it can grow too big. It goes into the chest, into the retrosternal mm -hmm. region. Mm -hmm. And when it does that now, it causes pressure effects. So your voice can change. Your feeding can be affected because mm. there is something obstructing as you're trying to mm. eat. Mm. Um, then the aesthetics. So you're looking different because mm. of the swelling. So those are some of the symptoms. Na kuna watu wakona thyroid na na goiter. This thing people call goiter. Yes. How is goiter related to thyroid? So goiter is an enlarged thyroid gland mm -hmm. from any of the causes we've said. Mm -hmm. So some of the things like um, thyroiditis, mm -hmm. Hashimoto's, can, might not enlarge the gland that much, mm -hmm. but there are dimensions. Like when you go for imaging, there are normal dimensions that we measure. Mm -hmm. And we say that this gland is enlarged or it's normal. Mm -hmm. And so goiter, you can have a diffuse goiter. Mm -hmm. The whole gland is enlarged, or you can have a multinodular goiter. So there are several of those nodules, lumps, 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 which look abnormal, and they are making the thyroid gland big. 
So anything that enlarges the thyroid gland will make it to be called a goiter. A goiter. So yeah. what people call goiter and they are told end of kule chuvi when chuvi kuli. So the problem is the most, thyroid. Yes, so most yeah. of the time uh-huh. when uh, when when you are um, iodine deficient, yes. yeah, your salt doesn't have your soil doesn't have enough mm-hmm. iodine mm-hmm. and uh, your thyroid gland is overworking. It will enlarge. Any gland in the uh, body, when it's overworking, it will enlarge because it's supplement. being stimulated. Uh, yes, like there is a, you're not doing your job properly. Uh-huh. So the hormone that is stimulating the thyroid gland to produce thyroid hormones mm-hmm. will also stimulate it to become big, to try and make its work mm-hmm. back to normal. So there's a relation, there's no relation between mm-hmm. iodine and salt. Iodine and salt. salt. So there's no relation? In there is a hundred percent relation yes. because the thyroid gland mm. uses iodine mm. to produce thyroid hormones. Okay. Yes, in the chemistry which, which, which chain. Which is called T4. The, yes, no, so the, the hormones are T3 and T4. Yeah, T3, okay. T3 and T4. Yes. Okay. So what thyroid does, uh, it uses iodine mm-hmm. okay. to produce the hormones. Yes. Okay. So if it has, if you don't have enough iodine mm-hmm. in your body, mm-hmm. your thyroid will enlarge mm-hmm. so that okay. it produces more uh, T3, T4. T3 and T4 okay. because that's how you pay chakula ya produce mm-hmm. T3 the, and the T4. Raw materials. So it's in a enlarge Could to produce. supplement okay. what it's lacking. Okay. So you, you, it results to goiter. goiter. Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay. And some goiters are cancerous. Right? Yes. Ah, okay. Yeah. okay. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, that <laughs> was very insightful uh, from Dr. Nuru. Uh, we are give, shedding you light to now appear Nuru. Mm-hmm. so that you know more about your thyroid. And Dr. Nuru happens to be a nephew to uh, our brother here, like I said before. And uh, he has helped, she has helped uh, Yad to recover very quickly and, of course, give more information on, on what to do and what not to do. As, as we close, I would want Nuru to uh, mention to the listeners or to the people watching us, when you're suffering from thyroid disease, any kind of thyroid disease, what are you supposed to avoid or what are you supposed not to avoid in your meals? The diet. Okay, so as we've, as we've said, the thyroid diseases fall into two major mm-hmm. categories of hypo and hyper. Mm-hmm. And so first you have to know where you fall. Mm-hmm. So when you are finally in the process of diagnosis and you're sent for lab tests, so the lab tests will tell you whether the hormones are low or they're high and they cause because just knowing that the hormones are low or high mm-hmm. is not enough. You have to know what's causing the problem. Mm-hmm. And as as for Imad's case, Iyad's case, it was uh, Graves, disease, Graves disease. Yeah. And that one is autoimmune. And now you go through the process of treatment of Graves disease. What do you mean for for, for the sake of someone who is watching us and doesn't understand or he or she doesn't understand what mm-hmm. autoimmune is? Mm-hmm. Maybe you can give us in the man's uh, layman's mm-hmm. language, mm-hmm. what is what's autoimmune? Okay. Yes. So, auto means self, yes. and immune is now the immune system. So, autoimmune means your body has produced something mm-hmm. that is attacking itself, and mm-hmm. this does not only affect the thyroid gland. Yes. So, there are many autoimmune diseases. Like yes. if if you've had rheumatoid arthritis, yes. that's an autoimmune disease. Uh-huh. There are some affecting the pancreas, the liver, yes. many, many parts of the body. Mm-hmm. So for, for autoimmune diseases of the thyroid gland, we have Graves' disease and Hashimoto's thyroiditis. Mm-hmm. So the, the, pro, the uh, body has produced antibodies that come and attack the I thyroid mean, the gland, thyroid. yes, and make uh-huh. it either overproduce or under. Mm-hmm. So most of the people with Graves' disease will mm-hmm. have an overfunctioning thyroid, and most of the people with Hashimoto's thyroiditis uh-huh. will have a hypo-functioning thyroid. Uh-huh. Yeah. But basically, your body is attacking itself. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And so now, in terms of treatment, that is a major factor. Mm-hmm. And I actually came to learn that that, um, as, as, you know, there's that thing of, of Kitambo, you're being told this is the list of the things you're supposed to avoid. Yes. And this is the list of things you're supposed to take. Like for mm. diabetes, yes. hypertension, that list was standard. Yes. Mm. You actually have no things to eat. Yes. Mm. You're left with nothing. I remember when I went to the hospital <laughs> before at least back at Kaliza Daktari. Sasa, mm. what do I eat? Nime back in a Yes. yes. Yeah. So there's that aspect uh-huh. of, of restriction, uh-huh. but there's that aspect of helping 
resolve the issue yes yeah or preventing it from progressing mm -hmm. so a lot of the dietary issues i'm sure rihanna knows more than me yes. because she did mega research on <laughs> it <laughs> and the support groups because sometimes mm -hmm. It's not in books, it's not in literature, mm. it's from experience. Mm -hmm. So somebody with the same disease will tell you, eh, eh, wachana na nyama kabisa. Mm. I did it and it worked for me. And mm. so it varies. it varies. Yeah. So for people who are hypothyroid, you just need to supplement. Mm -hmm. if, you, if you supplement with tablets, so you'll be given thyroxine to take mm. and it will be monitored how it is returning back to normal. Mm. And um, you need enough salt in your diet mm -hmm. and you know, sources of omega-3, other things which are supporting your thyroid mm -hmm. gland. Mm -hmm. And then if you're hyper now, you have to avoid. So you have to avoid excessively salted foods, uh -huh. some soils actually, like some areas, like where I come from, mm -hmm. in Kericho, they live and be wondering why you're putting thyroid on the TV. Everybody has it. Mm -hmm. Everybody has it. Like they... The patients I see who come for scans for uh -huh. other things. Uh -huh. You have come for a chest CT, you're coughing or something, the thyroid gland is big. big. Sometimes it is already there inside uh -huh. the chest. Somebody is 83 years old, they've had it for 20 years. Mm. And why is it uh, very common in Kericho? Now old? that will have to do with the soil. Mm. Yes. Okay. So the, the, the soil is deficient. Uh -huh. mm. And so whatever you're getting in terms of... Uh, planted foods yes. mm. is already deficient okay yeah okay so the thyroid gland is overworking most of the time if you measure you'll mm -hmm. find their euthyroid because their thyroid has already become big it's yes. trying to supplement, to supplement and they get used to it also the whole region mm -hmm. It's, as, as, it's a common. It's very common. Okay. So the only thing now we look for is is it cancerous or not? Okay. Yeah. So we just now our work will be your your thyroid, especially if you're your thyroid. Mm -hmm. Now we want to know if it's cancer or not. If it's not cancer and it's not giving you pressure symptoms, you just leave. Mm -hmm. eh. So most of the people who will want surgery uh -huh. or what, it is either causing pressure symptoms or they don't like how they look. So if they are they are young, uh -huh. they will insist on surgery. But those mamas, 75, 80 years old, were quite too sour. But the most common one is the, the goiter now. The, the one That's that the goiter, that is, uh, yes. Okay. yes. So we'll go, we'll go back to Ian, and I will want you to look at the, that camera. Camera number, director? We have camera number two. Camera number two. Mm -hmm. And I want you to advise uh, someone of your age, yeah. uh, a, a young boy who, has, who is going through what you went through, and tell them something. Yeah, so I just like to say uh, to everyone who's feeling like you're not feeling well, there's a problem somewhere, or there's something that you're feeling internally because you know, your friend cannot know what you're feeling inside. Mm -hmm. You should just speak out, you say what you feel, and the, there'll be a solution for everything. You know, it's better to treat something that you know than Ujinyamazie, and the problem will keep on recurring, recurring, and recurring. Mm -hmm. And uh, 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 like, you can have hope because, as for me, I was in the same shoes, and I got out, and I'm doing much better. But first, what you need to do is you need to speak out, and you need to get help. So thank you very much, uh, Hiyad. Uh, as we conclude, uh, I'm sure someone is watching us from Kericho, uh, or from somewhere in, in Kenya, or. In, in the world, mm -hmm. and they have tried, been trying to look for a solution for their thyroid disease or for anything that has been bothering them without getting. And they're asking, Doctor, mm where can I get that doctor? So I want you to tell them where they can get you. Maybe you can give your number, and I'm sure so many people will call you to give them so to give them a solution. Okay. Yes. Uh, so before I give my number, I can I can tell you that there are many treatment options yeah. and diagnostic options. Mm -hmm. So apart from the lab tests, sometimes we have to get tissue diagnosis for what you have. Mm -hmm. There are some which are very clear, like when you when you do the blood test, you'll be able to know exactly what it is. Mm -hmm. Or when you do an ultrasound, I can actually say this is Graves' disease, this is thyroiditis, mm -hmm. this is an abscess. But sometimes we have to get tissue diagnosis, which means we have to do a fine needle aspiration or a biopsy. Mm -hmm. And so the things that, the where we are going, you know health is a very progressive yes, uh, yes. area. Mm -hmm. And uh, where we are going, sometimes you will not get treatment without tissue diagnosis. Yes. And especially when there is suspicion of cancer, then we need to know. 
And so in the field I am, I'm in imaging. Mm -hmm. And so at some point, your doctor will send you for an ultrasound. So ultrasound is the best modality to look at the thyroid gland. Mm -hmm. The second best would be a thyroid scan, which is... Um, what do we call it? Using nuclear imaging. So we use uh, iodine 131 to uh -huh. look at the thyroid gland uh -huh. and also to treat. So the most available one, you are aware that county governments have done a lot in uh -huh. the counties in terms of health. Uh -huh. So ultrasound, where is it for your county referral hospital? Uh -huh. And when you have it, uh -huh. make sure it is done. And when we do it, then we are able to grade our suspicion mm -hmm. for cancer. Apart from giving a direct diagnosis when we don't suspect cancer, mm -hmm. we give a score. And then that score will tell the doctor who's looking yes. that this one needs a biopsy. Yes. Or we outrightly recommend a biopsy or FNA. And that should be done using ultrasound guidance. Yeah. We have to do an ultrasound because if you have several nodules, not all those nodules are cancerous. Yes, you have to look at each differently and see which one is the most suspicious or which ones and get an FN or a biopsy of this. So that's very important for people to know. And then apart from the medical treatment options, mm -hmm. they are, and, and surgery of course, mm -hmm. we are moving into what we call ablation. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so if you have a nodule mm -hmm. that is hyperactive and it's causing problems, there could be one too many, yes. you can do ablation. And ablation means you're going to kill that nodule mm -hmm. without necessarily affecting the rest of the thyroid gland. Mm -hmm. And it's done under, under image guidance. So you can do radiofrequency ablation, you can do cryo ablation. Mm -hmm. or cryo is using cold, mm -hmm. radiofrequency you're using frequencies. Uh, you can use chemo ablation. So whatever your method you're able to do, mm -hmm. you are directing it to a specific point of the thyroid gland you go and choma that thing which is causing trouble yes. and you're out. Mm -hmm. And so that is going to be a minimal invasive once we have it. Mm -hmm. It's going to be minimally invasive in terms of treatment and it's going to help a lot because you can do those even for cancerous nodules. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Wow. Yeah. That is very educative. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm hoping that you, uh, you, you, you will take this into consideration. When you go, if you're suffering from thyroid, and um, you'll be trying to look for yourself for a solution. Uh, Dr. Nuru has really explained well, and um, we are here at uh, Kitsuru, yes? Yeah, yeah. Kwa so, Kwa Kwarehana. Kwa Kwa mm -hmm. And we can also come to where you are, so that you give us your story, and we educate more people, so that we save more lives. So finally, Dr. Angalia, your camera, mm -hmm. be aware where they can get you. And then finally, Eric could close the show. Okay. So, uh, I'm a radiologist based in Kericho. I work at uh, Kericho County Referral Hospital as my main employer, but I also work within Kericho at uh, Siloam Hospital and in Eldoret. You can find me at Radio Care Center. Yes. Hmm. My phone number, yeah. Yeah, you've heard it from the horse's mouth, you've heard it from a medic, and of course from a parent's uh, perspective. Now come Malimu. Uh, now you know, now you know. Uh, uh, let's be a, a little bit more careful how we handle such cases, especially with our story today uh, dealing with a teenager who does not even understand what is going on. I personally learned a lot and I keep learning a lot. And the one thing I learned uh, the first time I met, uh, my, my boss told me about this story that so many people want to scare mechoka, want to scare whatever symptoms, but specifically thyroid disease, yeah? In Nimeland, that so many people, especially uh, men, yeah, or the term is money five, five times five. more women, yeah. Mm -hmm. So Alan is here, Yad is here, and they are men, yeah. Mm -hmm. So when you ask here, please, okay, scale of symptoms, anywhere, whether a student or uh, a, a, a man, when you want to move to, please, uh, end the hospital, you get checked up uh, because uh, prevention. Sometimes in a side, yes. This is a health talk desk and Leo Tukokoriana 
ነጥመስኪ አል ቢ ባክ ዊዝ አላን አሳንተ ሳና አል ሰብስክራይብ ዩር ቤል ኔትወርክ ኖቲፊኬሽን ኖቲፊኬሽን ቤል አሳንተ ላይክ ና ኮሜንት ናው ላይክ ናው ኮሜንት ናው ሼር ኢየስ ሙባርክ ዩ ሳና አሳንተ when you walk into medihub healthcare limited your wellness becomes our focus We are a fully fledged outpatient facility offering quality medical services to your satisfaction. Our doctors are highly qualified to diagnose and treat you till you're back to your strong self again. Our state of the art laboratory is fully equipped to deliver accurate test results and ensure that you get the correct diagnosis for your diseases. We also provide medical equipment for hire or sale including hospital beds, wheelchairs, oxygen concentrators and suction machines. But we are more than that. We are also experts in nutrition services offering nutrition consultation, both preventive and therapeutic advice. If you can't make it to our facilities, worry not. We offer specialized home-based care services at the comfort of your home. Choose from our multidisciplinary professionals ranging from doctors, nurses, physiotherapists, medical social workers, occupational therapists, and registered nutritionists. Visit us at AEA Plaza Valley Road before Silver Springs Roundabout, second floor wing B. Our 24/7 call center agents are on standby in case you call. So, call us on 011 194 22 68 or 736 370 or email us through info@medihubhealthcare.com medihub healthcare limited your wellness our focus join us at health talk desk make sure to subscribe like and share our videos to keep spreading vital thyroid health insights